what's your thoughts on this move from in the, in the Northwest with Mark Rowland now with Athletics Canada? I think for a while now, it's been clear that they're probably winding down OTC Elite. Heard some rumors of that the past couple years. I just think in years past, if Cooper Tier and Cole Hawker go pro and they stay in Eugene, they run for OTC Elite. That's obviously not happening. Now, what's looming in the background here is the vacancy for the Oregon track or for the Oregon coaching job, right? Which obviously could influence it because it's not just about coaching the university team. That person has just a lot of sway over running in Eugene as a whole. They're not naming the OTC elite coach, but that could be that could be a factor just in how track town as a whole is is positioned. But yeah, I think I think the club is gonna be winding down. It's it's a shame because especially with so many meets taking place at Hayward for them to have that that distinct jersey and that connection to the Eugene community was something that separated them from the other teams on the track. But I'd be surprised if they hire another high level coach and continue the program. Do you think there might be some like, you think Bowerman is going to stay Bowerman? Do you think there could be a situation where they kind of. Yeah, I think move... Bowerman's staying Bowerman. No. So I think Bowerman's staying Bowerman. I just, you, you look at the roster over the last couple of years with OTC elite and it's clearly trending in one direction, right? Yeah. I mean, again, this used to be, all right, you, for sure you get that best Oregon miler who's coming out or the best Oregon 800 meter runner or the best couple. And then it's just not, it's just not um, the case anymore. I mean, how many on the roster, what do, what do they have? Eight, eight or so people at this point. How many made the team? Uh, 11, I guess. Uh -huh. Well, you got them, you got them representing a bunch of different countries though, as well too. So. Yeah. Again, well, and then you got a bunch of different event groups, right? Because you got Sally Kipiego in a marathon. You have 800 meter runners out there as well, too. Um, yeah, it would be great. Again, I, I'm a fan of clubs. I think it's interesting. It makes it just having a different jersey on the start line from everybody else. If they just end up running just generically for Nike, I wouldn't like it. But I interpret this as they're winding it down. So if they're winding it down. Do you, do you think? Uh, I don't know. Because hear me out here. You put a galaxy brain. What if they're not winding it down? What if mm. Jerry Schumacher, Buckle your seatbelt, is looking to move towards the coaching job at Oregon? And then there's a vacancy for all these, uh, for all these pro athletes at Bowerman who now need a coach because he's now at Oregon, and then they all get kind of merged into this OTC brand, and now we just have a yeah. big switching of you know it's like the whole OKC New Orleans uh, Charlotte Hornets situation, you know where the, the teams are moving around in different cities in the NBA. Just could just be just. You know, you have Union Athletics Club, which is new. That used to be NOP. Yeah. You know, now there's no NOP. There could there be, you know, just a lot of interchanging things. It's all Nike just kind of just resetting the field. All right, we want our coach, the Nike primary coach, to be at Oregon because that's Award Field. And then you have our two yeah. secondary teams with OTC and Eugene. And then Portland would be Union Athletics Club with Julian. I don't know. There could be some big shape, well, shake up coming. And maybe this is just the first time. Sure. Sure. But I don't know. Again, I don't know if those things are going to be linked. They could. They could not be. I just I just look at the roster um, and you look at the coach leaving and you're like, all right, where is Nike going to invest their money moving forward? And, the, you know, and they, they have existing contracts there with people that, they're 
they're going to see through. But and that could last. That could end up lasting longer than OTC. Is what I'm saying. So what you're talking about could happen, where it's like, all right, this person's under contract for another couple of years, but then that just requires a different coaching arrangement. And pretty much everybody on here is a veteran, right? For the most part, so or been around at least a couple of years. I guess there's a couple of new faces, but just are they going to want to change coaches and groups? And I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I, if you're saying, hey, they're going to do a bigger reshuffling around groups, wouldn't surprise me. Although they just started union, like with a branding, so that would be weird for them to change that right now. Yeah. But, you know, uh, weird things happen. Nike is prone to do some crazy things out there. So, so Tampa Eagle says, is OTC Pete Julian? No, Oregon Track Club, it's Oregon Track Club Elite's Mark Rowland. Union Athletics Club is Pete Julian. Oregon Track Club Elite is in Eugene. Union Athletics is in Portland. Oregon Track Club Elite was Ashton Eaton back in the day. It was Nick Simmons. It was Andrew Weedy. They had just Rand Tyson Eaton. They had a bunch of athletes that spanned different event groups that made it interesting. And I think it just sort of continued that Oregon tie. Oh, I watched this person in college, and now they're running pro, and and they're in that familiar OTC kit with the with, with the tree. Like I'm gonna cheer for them or that or, or the Simmons. It's part of the reason why Simmons. Everybody thought Simmons went to Oregon was because he was wearing the OTC jersey for all those years. But you look at the roster now that's listed on their site: Blankenship, Green, Amos, Kipiego, Mead. Hayward, Piccarello, Sutherland, Paulson, Sietti, Stanisvek. Only Sutherland went to, went to Oregon in that group. What if they know Ben Thomas isn't going to get the head coaching job at Oregon, Ben Thomas moves over to, to coach OTC, Cooper Tier and Cole Hawker now are part, the key, you know, big two of the new OTC. And then that's what they're – planning on doing what if this is a move for ben thomas to slide into otc a lot of his former athletes are already on otc the virginia tech kids right who came yeah. in and run otc so move if ben thomas takes over hawker cooper tier they're there they're going to keep that you know that team relevant because they're going to make multiple teams throughout the next five or so years and then it goes back to being a good hub for Oregon, because now that Oregon connection is a lot more stronger because their top two guys are yeah Oregon guys. Well, and I mean, that's, that's a point. recruiting advantage too, because all these kids coming up into college, they're probably looking up to Tier and Hawker. Oh, how do I get there? Okay, well you come to Oregon. Look at this pipeline we got created. You come here, you win a national title. You could run pro here in in Eugene. You could join Hawker and Tier's group. Yeah, but if you're Nike. Like, what's the difference between a group just being like having a group and then just sponsoring runners financially? I mean, I guess one is more expensive than the other, right? <laughs> it's easier just to go with make jerseys. Right, your... Got to make yeah. more jerseys. Look at a website. Yeah, pay for the monthly plan. Well, right. The WordPress website. Yeah. Well, you have the youth, like, it's an actual club, right? It's a whole club. So there's a youth element to it. They put on clinics. They do all this stuff for the – like Oregon Track Club isn't going to go away. It's just what, what the elite group looks like. But, yeah, they have masters. They have youth. They have this whole infrastructure here. I don't think that's – to be clear, I don't think that's going away. I think it's just the elite component uh, would shift. But I just wonder, yeah, how do you how do you decide which group to keep and which group to cut? Because if you're going to sponsor the athletes anyway – I guess the coaching part of it would be because you, if you have a club, you have to have a coach. Whereas if you don't, you just, okay, go find a coach on your own, figure it out. 